Okay, I'm interviewing Marshall. Uh, okay, anyways, I'm here with Marshall Bowers today. And we're, oh, Bear Rose. I'm going to be asking him some questions. Hi. Okay. So, Marshall, what is your favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite thing about school? My friends. If you were stranded on the island, what three things would you bring? What three things would I bring? Yes, three. Um, a really long book. Um, that's it. A book? You have two other things! What should I bring, Jordan? You know, some people, like, gotta eat food to survive. Yeah, but you can get food on the end. Okay, um, food and water, then. Okay. What, what, what are those, like... Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Jade. And I'm Avery. And today is Tuesday, April 2nd. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to that glorious flag. Attention all underclassmen, Friday, April 5th is the last day to quickly and easily change your course for next year. If you would like to modify your course request, be sure to submit the necessary paperwork which can be found in your Schoology resource folder or stop by the counseling office for a quick change form. As a reminder, you can view your proposed courses for next year on the community portal account. The listing is in the file cabinet under the reports area. Sophomores and juniors interested in helping the class of 2023 have a smoother transition into EHS next year? The Link Group program is looking for you. Link leaders are upperclassmen who are solid role models for younger students and who would have been successful at our school. And we are looking for responsible 10th and 11th graders with good communication skills and leadership potential who are willing to share the lessons they have learned that we, we have allowed them to be that have allowed them to be successful at EHS. You could have a tremendous impact on our new students and you will learn many valuable leadership skills in the process. Link leaders are trained to work with and help the incoming freshmen to just transition into high school. If this sounds interesting to you, fill out an application right away available on Schoology. Applications are due by Friday, April 5th, this Friday at 3 p.m. And if you aren't sure and would like to know more, please see Ms. Mandel, Ms. Lowe, or Mr. Hrabowski for more details. There will be a meeting of the Tri-M Honor Society in the auditorium on Wednesday morning at 7.15. Looking to make some extra cash after school hours? I know I am. Ephrata Area School District is looking for students ages 16 or older to serve as substitute custodians in our elementary school buildings. If you're interested in learning more, please stop down to the counseling office to pick up an information seat. Now over to Dirk with the news. I'm Derek with the news. A White House whistleblower has told Congress that dozens of rejected security clearance applications were overturned by the Trump administration. Trisha Newbold claimed applications were denied for serious disqualifying issues uh, were later reversed with liter little explanation. The veteran White House security advisor tested, testified to the Democratic-led House Oversight and Reform Committee. Democrats have long claimed that White House officials have abused clearances. Newbold, who works as an adju adjudications manager in the White House Personnel Security Office, cited grave security risks arising from intervention of her colleagues. Now over to the juniors with the lunch. What's up, guys? It's lunch time. You know that. It's April 2nd. Before I start with our, uh, you know, daily programming. Just want to let you all know, throughout this lunch today, you're going to see uh, true mentality. It's what they call the Mamba mentality. You ever heard of Kobe Bryant? I'm the reincarnation. Sorry, Claire, I kicked your ball. It's okay, though. All right, today we got the pasta bowl, meat sauce, or chicken alfredo. Yummy.
with the whole grain bread stick. Oh boy, got that barbecue bacon chicken sandwich. Ugh. So good. <laughs> Papa John's pizza. Oh, God. Uh. See that? That's money. Oh, cr crispy chicken wrap, a fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, buffalo chicken salad, roasted cauliflower, grape tomatoes with dip, and assorted fresh fruit. Or slushy. Gotta get back to hooping. I'm running things. <laughs> In sports action, after the softball defeated Lebanon High School yesterday 22-9, Lexi Reinholm pitched a complete game, and Sidney Mulchaney picked up a pair of hits to lead the mounts at the plate. In tennis action, the boys lost to E-Town 2-5. Wins for the mounts included the duo of Chase Wilson and Alice Martin, and Nick O'Lean in singles. Boys lacrosse won 20-7, and the girls lost versus Cocalico. Baseball won 5-1 versus Lebanon, and volleyball won 3-0 versus Schuylkill. Yesterday, our track and field programs had their first home meet versus Cocalico. The girls won with a score of 111 to 39, and our boys won with a score of 81 to 68. Both po programs are off to a 2 and 0 start. First place finishers include, for the girls, in the 4x800, Mary Campbell, Lizzie Martin, Ashlyn Mazaki, and Sarah Heverlig. In the 100 meter hurdles, Talia Schaefer. In the 100 meter dash, Anaya Johnson. In the 1600 meter run, Alyssa Fedorshak. In the girls' 4x1, Faith Hirschberger, Talia Schaefer, Tamira Martin, and Anaya Johnson. In the 800 meter run, Ashlyn Mazaki. In the 200 meter dash, Anaya Johnson. In the 3200 meter run, Alyssa Fedorshak. In the girls' 4x4, Bailey Andrews, Olivia Fedorshak, Faith Hirschberger, and Mary Campbell. In pole vault, Piper Snow. In high jump, Olivia Meyer. In shot put, Lexi Clayton. In discus, Olivia Good. And in javelin, Candace Liebel. And on our boys' side in the 4x800, we had Andrew Foster, Panion Luce, Ray Truex, and Tyler Shu. In the 100 meter dash, Stanley Rado. 1600 meter run, Andrew Foster. 400 meter dash, Tyler Shu. 800 meter run, Nathan Kimmel. 200 meter dash, Stefano Astudio. 3,200 3, meter run, Andrew Foster. 4x400, Ben Kamide, Trevin Herzog, Stefano Astadio, and Tyler Shu. Pole vault, Bryce Babiak, and high jump, Jared Groff. Our next home meet is coming up on Monday, April 8th, against Lebanon. Come out to support our programs. Mounts Pride. Today, boys tennis players. Now over to a quick video. <laughs> Looking for an incredible free leadership opportunity this summer? Check out the Rotary Youth Leadership Award. RILA for short, conferences meeting is at Messiah College this summer from June 9th to 13th. RILA provides leadership training for outstanding young men and women. The schedule includes various speakers, career seminars, a challenging course, team building activities, and much, much more. For more information about this free student leadership conference, be sure to check out an application in Schoology, or you can pick one up in the counseling office. Don't delay because initial paperwork needs to be submitted to the counseling office by April 5th. If you have any questions, please see your counselor ASAP. Attention students of Everett High School, if you're interested in writing for student council, please stop down to see Mr. Marzok's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives for our student council per grade to represent our student body. And since you represent our school in the student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up one of the petitions from Mr. Marzok in room 137. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only, or your petition will be void. 
Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator from the high school for a recommendation basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Ms. Marzok or Mr. Ms. Eshelman. Mr. Marzok, I apologize. They are student council advisors. Finally, a list of all eligible students who will be running for the representatives will be sent out to our faculty for one last look-see, just to make sure all said students running with, are within good standing at the high school. And if everything goes well, which it probably will, elections will be held during advisory on Friday, April 12th. That means voting, people. So stop down to see Mr. Marzok in room 137 and get your petition turned in by Friday, Tuesday, April 9th. Any petition or teacher recommendation received after Tuesday, April 9th will not be accepted. So stop down and see Mr. Marzak. Have a great day, Ephrata. Uh -huh. mm -hmm.